we have a young person in our life who is beginning the journey. Yeah. Um, so my daughter, Austin. Austin Austin Danielle Bomer, who has uh, just recently graduated from Webster University, which is my alma mater, and is now beginning her professional career as a stage actor. Yeah, so we've we've watched her journey and watched her blossom into from the first little sparks of interest to really getting serious about it. And certainly training is the most important thing, really working hard on all aspects of the career, meaning not only acting, singing, dance, and dance training, but business training too, really learning about the business of the business so that you can behave like a professional um, and not make those silly mistakes that, that one could make about, you know, you have to have a professional looking resume and headshot and you have to carry yourself with a level of respect for everyone involved and and taking it seriously. And, and I think for most young performers that I've met who are serious about it, they come from the same place that we do in terms of love for this art form, love for the craft. And when you love something, the work doesn't feel like work. The training is exciting. You you are excited to, to coach with incredible coaches, voice teachers, acting teachers, and to see what you've got. You know, it's it's thrilling to work on it and can be frustrating. You're beating your head against the wall, not quite getting it. But then you have a breakthrough and it keeps you going on to the next thing. And certainly perseverance. Um, you're going to get rejected. You're going to get your heart broken. Um, one of the things I talk about in my book is how can we cultivate resilience and self-compassion and not beat ourselves up. And these are skills for life as well as theater. I learned them from being rejected over and over again and screwing up. It took me three tries to get the role of Christine. So I was so nervous that I just came out of myself <laughs> for those first two auditions. And how to not beat ourselves up when we fail. How to try again when we've been rejected. Learning those skills of, of perseverance, I think, yeah. are, are huge. It's big. It's big. I, same for me. Training, training, training. I think the, the more you know, and not just, you know, in the arts, but, you know, in everything. You know, pay attention to what's going on in the news. Pay attention to history. Pay so much attention to history. Mm. Um, all of that stuff's going to come into play, you know, whatever you're doing. Um, and the resilience, I think, of something that I try to teach young actors when I'm coaching is give yourself attainable goals. It's not That's not to say don't have a goal to, you know, yes, in... My overarching goal is that I want to be in a Broadway show or I want to star, I want to do a leading role on Broadway. That's great. Um, you're going to get a lot of no's on the journey to that yes. So when I coach young actors, I say, you know, give yourself a, a, something you can attain. Like if it's a sense of I want to make sure in this audition that I actually remember the names of the people I'm introduced to. That's a, that's a goal you can attain. You can walk out and say, I remember his name. I wasn't so nervous that I didn't hear that information. Or, uh, you know, my goal in my audition song is uh, at this particular point, I'm leaving one little gap here for the unexpected. I have a planned out audition, and here I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to let myself do something completely inspired in this moment. I'm leaving this moment. So then you walk out of the room going, I did that. That's something I could control. That's something I can say, yes. So you have a yes attached to the experience that is in your power to get, as opposed to, oh, I didn't get the job. I suck. You know, yeah. everything becomes about, I can't, I have no power, you know, because there's a lot of that. It's one of the hardest, hardest things about this business is you don't, it's always, you know, I say it's always somebody else's toy and we just get to come in and play with it for a little while, you know, which is beautiful and wonderful. But within that, you have to have a goal that's related to what can I achieve. Mm -hmm.